<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a video about who we are and what we're doing and what our goals are because I have lots of new subscribers. So <laughs> I say lots. I have like 15 new subscribers. Thank you guys. <laughs> I, I'm Kristen and uh, I'm married to a man named Matt. Kids, two boys, Wyatt and Hasten. Wyatt is eight years old. Hasten is almost 11 months old in four days. Um, so, here's what we do we have a small family homestead. We try to grow a garden. <laughs> try. Stop before. About the only thing I can grow is peppers and tomatoes right now. But I'm learning and I'm figuring it out. It's been a long time since I've had a garden. Um, we raise chickens for eggs and meat. We raise quail for eggs and meat, and we raise goats for meat. Um, I plan on getting my first milk goats this spring. So right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of walking around the property. We also have some large stock that um, does not contribute anything to our homestead. It's just they're purely here for aesthetic value. And, uh, you know, so I'll show you some of what we've got going on. So this is the laying chickens. We have three um, bovin browns is what they're supposed to be. I believe they're production reds. Four turkins, uh, one australorp, one black six link, and one black six link cross, and one really old yellow hen who's coming out. She's a buff orpington. Um, the buff orpington's about five or six years old, so she. Uh, She's just, she's a granny and she's here to stay. She did hatch out some babies though once, so of course she's super broody. And all through, the two older black hens are broody. The cross, little cross black hens. So we put hay in here, if you're wondering what that is. Um, it gives them some scratch in. They really like it and it turns to compost because then in the spring, when we move this chicken coop, because although it's huge and heavy, it is mobile, we will, uh, scrape this out and use it in the garden. That there is a cross between a game chicken, a game hen, and a banny rooster, I think. Or a banny hen and a game rooster. One of the two. We had both. <laughs> so there's about, there's one full blood rooster, four full, full blood hens, and then that's chicken. These are just pets. Um, they do like cute little eggs that are neat to boil for, for Easter and Easter egg hunts. Those are my son Wyatt's. Okay, and one more chicken pen, which is a mobile chicken pen. I move it almost daily. I haven't, you're like, oh, you're really close to my nose, sorry. I haven't here the last couple days because, or the last, well, about a week or so, because it's cold and rainy and, you know, we were just really don't want to mess with it a whole lot. There's nothing for them to eat, so we add to their cage, but I'll show you what's in it. These are our grow outs. There's about three or four hens in here though. They have a home. I have given them away to a family who uh, wants to try laying chickens. And these are out of good laying stock. That yellow hen there actually is one of them. Um, there was a lot more. They, uh, they got poisoned accidentally with some water that ran off the roof. And uh, didn't know asphalt shingles could poison chickens, but apparently so. But anyway, um, the remainder, about five or six roosters, are going to be in the freezer, um, including that black one there. And even though he's pretty, he's he's a food for the frying pan, that's for sure. So, a little information about our farm. We live in Weber's Falls, Oklahoma. Um, Weber's Falls is a teeny tiny town that got really devastated by a flood this past May. Um, school didn't get to start till after September, I think it was the second week of September, which, you know, <laughs> why well, I enjoyed that, but I almost homeschooled him because of that. I'm still contemplating it because of the education that I could provide him that's different from the state sanctioned education, but that's another story. So it's in the afternoon, so my shadow isn't here, but we have two little bucklings that we raised this year. A black one and a brown one. They do not have names because potentially they could be food. More than likely they will be food for someone. Um, we planned on selling them because they're super cute. They're uh, boar 
Pico crosses and uh, has a little fainting goat in there. They have blue, both of them have blue eyes and they're super, super cute, but they're just, you know, kind of pets at the moment. Now, the cute little brown thing is not ours. He's the neighbor's mini mule and he, uh, he kind of goes wherever he wants, but that's Dreamer. And we also have five horses out here. And those are the big things that contribute nothing to the homestead. At one point in time, we did do a lot with them. My uh, my husband was notorious for logging with his horses, I guess, sort of. He would cut them, cut cedar and drag them, drag cedars with horses. But um, now they're, they're mostly just here. And they're pets, including that handsome yellow fellow right there. He's my big baby. Well, so is she, but <laughs> he loves me more. And aside from that, we have a total of nine head of goats. We sold our billy goat because we're keeping his daughters. We don't want him to breed his daughters, so we sold him. And um, next fall, we will acquire a new male to breed our nannies. But um, that's where we're going right now. And one more big fairy animal that contributes absolutely nothing to our homestead, but he's a lot of fun. And that's him. His name is Angus, and he is an Angus, a 100% Angus bull calf. Um, we got him as a bottle baby in July. He was born July 5th, and we picked him up the next week. His mama didn't want him, and it was a lot of work for the, the rancher. He didn't have time for a bottle calf, so he offered him to us for free, and we took him. So, um, the fuzzy dog there, that is Lily, and she loves everybody. Unless you're where you're not supposed to be, and then she gets a little irate. Or if you're not her family, which would be us. She lives with the goats 24-7, and uh, she does a really good job at protecting them. Even though there's only seven goats in this pasture, well, seven goats and a calf, um, she knows what her job is, which is livestock protection. So we have... Mama goat and baby goat, which is the big brown one. They are both, baby goat is her daughter. It's mama goat's daughter. Mama goat's half boar goat. So baby goat's a quarter boar goat and she's some milking. Our billy goat was Kiko and some other stuff. So um, that one there is Winona. We bought her with Reba and the bigger white girl there who is Dolly. And then we have the refer to them as the new babies. <laughs> they don't have names. But this is mama goats. And then that one over there that's two-toned is baby goats. Um, baby goat is half milk goat also. So she's a little, she's built kind of different. Um, Winona is my pet. She is, they're half Kiko, a quarter boar, and a quarter fainting goat. She has blue eyes. She's absolutely darling, but she is so tiny. She just had a rough start in life. Um, she got really wormy really fast and, um, you know, had some issues. So she's kind of small. So she's probably going to be a pet or I will breed, find a small buck to breed her to to see if we can even get babies out of her. But that is our, the remainder of our goat herd. And you can see Lily making mama goat behave. Lily counts as the goat herd because it's her goat herd. She's actually a neat dog. She's half rough collie and half Anatolian shepherd. And the person I got her from is named Julie and she is a sweet, sweet, sweet girl. And um, she has goats and cattle. So the Anatolian protected the cattle and the uh, rough collie was with the goats. So she has been with goats her entire life. She worked out perfect for being here with us for our goats. So aside from the animals that you see here, we also have a few others. There's a, a house cat. We have two hunting dogs. And uh, that's about it for our animals and some fish and a turtle. We have a turtle. But, um, you know, guys, I just wanted to give an update on what our farm is and what we're doing. But anyway, guys, um, I did restart recording yesterday also. I didn't like where it was going. Oh, before I sign off here, I'll show you the main feature of our farm. And uh, it is in this right here. 
and it's not fluffy, the white chicken. There's actually three little quail right here. And in this one, six more over here. These are my brood stuff. There's five female and one male. And I actually have a video about winterizing, which I uh, showed you what I do to winterize this, which included covering this cage entirely in feed sacks. And, uh, you know, when the weather's nice, I just pin it up like that. Because it is a wooden cage. They're lots of fun. We really enjoy our cow. Border Fally. She should be having puppies this week. They'll be ABCA registered border collies. She's very camper shy. Mia. <laughs> Don't lay down, you silly girl. And because I did start filming yesterday, and I didn't like where I was going with it because it was cold, it was too cold to take the baby outside, which he's right now taking a nap, that's why I'm outside. Um, it's only 46 degrees out here. And the sun's shining, it's nice and pretty, but it's just not good weather for the baby. Um, but I started putting up our artificial Christmas tree in the house. But uh, like I said, I didn't like where that was going. I may include it in another video when I let Wyatt decorate our tree. But other than that, you know, that's about it. I cook, I clean, I do the housewife, and I do the homestead. Um, that's about it. You know, I'm Kristen, my husband's Matt, we have two children. And uh, I just thought I'd give you guys an introduction into our lives, our homestead life. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I so appreciate it. And I am so appreciative of my 100 subscribers. I have to start somewhere, and a small goal is a big goal. Either way you look at it. A goal is a goal. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, the feedback. Keep it coming. I enjoy it. And I love, if someone thinks I can improve something, let me know. I, I can sure give it a try. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You know, thumbs up if you like us. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you soon.